Here at Connected Britain, I'm talking to Rashik Palmer of IBM, who has just given a closing plenary address. Rashik, it was a fascinating address, and it focused a lot on AI. Uh, absolutely, thanks, thanks, Brian. And you know, when we when you think about computing as we got it today, um, we've got about 40 exabytes of data in the world, and a lot of that's dependent on the programmers that have been writing code. And we're at the point now where we don't have enough programmers. So AI has now come of age and it allows us to reuse that data and use automatic algorithms and tools to be able to make sense of that data and start to solve problems that we need in the world. So it helps us create certainty where uncertainty didn't exist. And I think we've all heard about AI in the last year or so. It seems one of those buzzwords that come along every now and then. But you gave a very practical example to do with the US railways. Right, so, so if I look at the US railways, you know, these big freight trains going from east to west coast, different temperatures, different terrains. And the biggest problem that they have is cracked wheels. So one cracked wheel creates derailment and, and it ultimately means people can lose their lives. And the trains are dependent on somebody with a little hammer. That, that ex-piano tuner will go along and listen to every single wheel and listen to the sound from that wheel and decide whether the train should travel or not. Um, and what we did is, when, when the railroad came to us and said, can we do anything with AI? And we said, of course we can. We put little microphones on the undercarriage, we listen to the sound, and we, we separate out the noise from the wind, the engine, tra the, um, the, 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 uh, the, you know, the, the actual machinery, and pick out the sound of just that wheel. And we know when that wheel is a good wheel, when it's about to crack. It's about to crack, we send a message to the, the rail operator to say, pause and stop. That's a great example. I mean, how are we going to make money out of AI? I mean, talking about Connected Britain, is that going to be a big earner for us? Yeah, and that, that's, you know, without making money, there's no point doing this stuff, ultimately, right? So, so when, we, when we do the analysis, we found that actually the, the world has been automated in a significant way. AI and uh, its predecessor, the computing technologies, automated all kinds of aspects of daily life. But there's $4 trillion of wastage um, and the wastage in things like, if I go to a hospital, the amount of waiting time between steps. If I go to any process as a consumer, there's all kinds of wasted process steps, mainly through organizational boundaries. And what AI helps us do is to start to reimagine those processes and optimize things that are outside the organization's control. And, and I, I describe it as uncertainty. Wherever there's uncertainty in a process, AI will use data and information to create certainty. Just like how long is it going to take me to get from here to home? You'd have thought I'd be able to predict that today, and I can't. Now, AI will help us do that, and that removes inefficiencies, and that in turn creates new value, new business models, and new opportunities for making money. Well, it was a very interesting conversation that you had out there. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Brian.